What's up, YouTube? Savage here. Welcome back to another Deep Purple reaction video. It's been a few weeks, but we're back and ready for some more. Perfect Strangers is the name of the song of the album of the same title, and it is a hard rock slash progressive rock song, a little over five minutes long, and it was released in 1985. It looks like it's a comeback album, it says here. Which is interesting. What is what do they mean by that comeback album? Do they take a few years off? It is one of the few Deep Purple compositions to not feature a guitar solo. Nonetheless, looks like Richie Blackmore has called it his favorite song. And the lyrics are inspired by an Elric by the Elric books by Michael Murak, which says here he is a science fiction and fantasy writer. So I'm hoping this is kind of like a sci-fi inspired song. I think that would be really cool. I always enjoy those. That's why I think Rush has some really neat songs. And it looks like this uh, has a few covers. Not too much information on the page, which is a little weird because looking at a few of the Deep Purple websites, it seemed like that this was one of their more popular songs. But that's all right. It looks like it peaked at number one in Poland. That's pretty cool. I wonder how, how, it, um, how it did over here in the US. Normally it has like a reception section on these pages that tells you how the song was received but like i said there's really not much going on here so we're actually just going to jump right into the to the song now and there's a video for it so we're going to check that out it's a little bit over five minutes like i mentioned so get comfortable hope you have a coffee or a tea or something like that sit back and enjoy it and hopefully this is a really cool song let's check it out Loving the riff. I know I must remain inside this silent well of song. I love the progression downward.
definitely has a lot of sci-fi undertones in it. And by that, I mean, like, some of the sounds that they're doing in the song have a very, like, spacey or, um, like, a, um, what's that one show called? <laughs> That's like, uh, ah, uh, what is it called? It's, I just went on the Tower of Terror, I should know this. Uh, what is that show? Not the... X-Files. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a huge blank. But you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to describe. I know you guys know. It's got like uh that type of vibe going for it. And I think that's maybe um them implementing the the fact that it's inspired from these books over here, which were mainly it looks like science fiction and fantasy. Which is really neat. I um I love songs that follow a story that are from science fiction. And you probably have found that out through just me reacting to certain songs that are tr that of nature. So I really haven't had to say it, but yeah, I really and I really do like the songs that are science fiction and fantasy. I think it's really fun and it's just like one of the favorite one of my favorite types of uh, like feelings. One of my favorite movies uh, growing up as a child was um, The Never Ending Story. I just love things like that. It's, I think it's really cool. It's just really fun to me. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> I like how they play it several times. Thank you for repeating the um, that melody over and over and over. Normally, some songs will give you something really cool at the end, but they'll only play it once. And you're like, oh, come on, play it again. They literally just had an outro right here that was like the last 30 seconds, 45 seconds of that that repeating. And it's like you get to really enjoy it, soak it in. And I'm glad that the song is 5 minutes and 24 seconds. You know, excellent decision decision by them to give you that that nice outro like that. I really, really like that. I wish more songs would do that. Do that. Okay, so I'm going back to that one show that I couldn't think about. It's the Something Zone. I don't, I don't know why this is so hard for me to remember. Like, I can't understand why I can't remember this. Science fiction show. The, the no, not the X Files. I just said that. It's gonna bother me so much. Oh, gosh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> I'm not ending this video until I I find this out. The blank zone, the something zone, the the twilight zone. Oh my gosh! 
Why was that so hard? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a really cool song. Okay. It turned out to be exactly what I was hoping it would be. So I'm really glad for that. Especially towards the end. Definitely. The song, or not the song, the music video though. Did they just like put together a bunch of clips of them just like hanging out and playing play music for a few weeks? Like just like, <laughs> it didn't really make much sense. <laughs> cool video. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed having a visual while listening to the song. But anyways, maybe you guys have some more insight about that. You can let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, this is another Deep Purple song. Like, I haven't ran into a mediocre song yet. It's just been banger after banger after banger. So if you guys want a specific song that you would like me to listen to next, as far as some uh, other Deep Purple, let me know down below. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, so you guys wouldn't like believe how many people watch the videos that aren't subscribed. It's over 80%. All of my views may like that. All of them, like 80% of my views can come from people that aren't subscribed yet. Subscribe down below. You're probably going to watch another video, listen to some more music with me. So why not? And also leave a like on the video video. It helps out the channel so much. So thank you guys so much for that. But really, thank you for hanging out with me, listening to this song and enjoying this amazing music. Hope it, uh, reinvigorated some really cool memories for you and if it didn't and you're just hearing it for the first time with me that's cool too either way thank you and i'll catch you in the next one peace